Hey guys, Rudrick here, and welcome back to Rudrick Plays Life is Strange. We had to make a tough call last time, and I, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. Chloe asked us to end her pain and suffering with an overdose, and I, I can't do it. Um, I did seriously consider making that choice um, in this game this time, in this Let's Play, but just, I I tried, and I tried, and I tried, and it just, I couldn't do it. Just the thought of killing someone with an overdose, regardless of them being in pain, I just couldn't do it. Anyway, let's attempt to make things, so, uh, let's attempt to change things again and focus on the I'm photo. Sorry, And we have to use left and right to focus on the photo again, and it'll be a little different from the last time. If I can get it. Oh, oh, oh. Almost had it. Almost had it. There we go. Will it work this time? And what are we going to do this time? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hmm. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You oh, Max, what are you doing? Aha! You can't hide from me forever! And no Chloe and Max wine table. Oh, no. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? He's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Oh no. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong, even if you feel like I wasn't there for you, because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. And with that, William, well, now he did pass away. Everything happened just like it did originally, except this time we got rid of the ability to go back. So Chloe still ended up becoming like she was, and Joyce ended up marrying David. And instead of that happening, there's that. But the good news is, Chloe didn't get in a wreck, and she still met Rachel. We still saved her from Nathan, it looks like. And this didn't happen either. Instead, here we are at the house, doing something. Hmm. wonder what the heck that is. Something we made to... Uh, pull put files together on and looks like we finally come to and there's good old Chloe, Chloe. you're back no nope. oh yeah now you suddenly want to kiss me you had your chance I'm just 
I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since I was <laughs> CSI Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. And Max, she did doesn't you even forget know. we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. No. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome That's back to the real world, Max. Oh, man. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. No, don't. Well, I guess this is all we're gonna get, so I guess we need to get up and get moving here. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Alright. Let's look around and see if... I'm getting lost in all this shit. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. No, it's not. You know, to be honest, though... This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Probably too much. Probably a lot. You know, to be honest, William probably would have given anything he could so his daughter wouldn't have to go through Maybe that. Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Yeah, it looks like, uh... Oh, what the? Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Lots is not a word. And Chloe's smoking yes, up a freight train. Chloe Price was here. Definitely. Hey, Chloe. Oh, there's a photo. Hee. <laughs> photo sneak. And she did not even budge. <laughs> I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Yeah, but it's best we just leave it. Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. The Prescott's Pan Estates, ha Haven or Hell? The name Prescott may not mean much to you or those outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town, but this is a name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay, a quaint town seemingly stuck in time. Once home to a prosperous fishing and tourism industry, the town has seen much better paydays despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the Otters. Environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life, resulted, resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they're behind an expensive, exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates to be built into the deep forest near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands, and natural resources continued on the next page, which we don't get. Hmm. We already sat down for a bit. There's a magazine. That's my Chloe. Yep, the bad girl's got guns. And that's still there, and that's still there. Oh, we must have had breakfast, apparently. And we have the gun. I still feel sketchy about giving Chloe the gun back. I honestly can't remember if I actually gave it to... That's Chloe or not originally. always makes me think of William and Chloe. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's examine the board. And see what we've got so far. We've got a lot of information. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Mm -hmm. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. Yes. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Mm -hmm. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have <laughs> to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, what no, else? Chloe, are, no. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. I I'm know. Glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm going to cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. 
Yeah, let's avoid. Um, I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Yeah, we really need to be careful with the level that we went back. No, oh dear. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Oh crap, where'd it go? Are we trying to scare it away? I know what we're trying to do. Oh crap, crap, crap. Okay, can we open this window? Yes, we can. Okay. Alright, well. Let's scare it that way. Be free. Well, we wound up saving the bird. I don't know what that does. I've never seen that before. Okay, closing that. That's weird that that happened. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. I'm kind of hoping he's not. I don't think anything else has changed, so we're just going to go ahead and go straight downstairs and into David's lair. Well, that sounds really creepy. More like his man cave, but... Oh, crap. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David! I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just... better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Hmm... You know, he still seems concerned, so I do feel a little bad about reaming him. Or, oh, hi, Warren. Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that you shot her down, true? Oh, he actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. Oh, God, I don't want to embarrass you. Too late. She sounds cool. She's a cool dork. Like me? No, you're different, in a good way. So we're still on to go ape? No, dang dirty ape. Human can stop me. Go ape, not human. We shall see. I hope so. Now I have to get back to reality. That sucks. Indeed. I'll buzz you later. See? Let's see. Whoops. Let's see. It's not. I don't like extra. Oh. Uh, what happened? Let's see here. Hey, honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank and it's from a block number? Oh, I'm so sorry. Some jerk in my class thought that would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this week has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. We got one for mom. Let's see here. Um... Yeah, yeah, uh, okay, please call as soon as you can, thanks for letting me gush over our black hole here, I miss your voice, we're so proud to some milk this moment, let's know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay, we love you Maxine, what the heck is going on with the weather up there, are they doing military tests or something, you're right in the eye of the storm, no comment, I've kept Lisa alive through all this, so we're safe, as long as you're around, now back to the books, talk soon, XO Maxo. Oh, that, that, that's still stupid cute. Kate. Oh, let's see here. Look at you. Okay, I'll visit you as soon as I can. Max, how are you? Hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you and your bunny misses you. Yay, you're such a good friend. Great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you, XO Maxo. Oh, we get to see Kate. Uh, what the? Sorry, my phone was in my bag. Hey, Justin, you busy? Max Wax, I'm busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank Bowers? Drugs. That's it? That's Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? He's so high, he doesn't even care. Juliet. Let's see. Hey, Max, I hope you're okay after everything. You might be busy, but feel free to, feel free to call me anytime. Hey, Juliet, you busy? 
No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around town. I mean, a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why, are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, I'm just bored. Talk soon, thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from ace reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? <laughs> I like Juliet, actually. Oh, Chloe again. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. Um, oh yeah, we didn't see... Sorry about Kate, hope you're doing okay. This clip's for you guys. I what's going on together. Supermax, I was like, well, you're doing. Still shaking my nerves. Got press cut expensive. You're a boss, but no emoji. Um, let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, the no emoji. Cool. The show you make me in front of Canvas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry I got in your face today and took out my bullcrap rage on my best friend. No, I understand. You're going through a lot we are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and, I, and busted out my rewind. Okay, that is your one... Get out of emoji jail free card, <laughs> but we need to stock up on sick coffee and candy for an all nighter. Let's get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. <laughs> I have a beanie. Also, we might pick you up. Sweet, we'll be ready. And that was no emoji. Oh lord, Chloe does not like emojis apparently. Oh, uh, we've still got all these. Victoria. Da, 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 da. Okay, nothing important. Hey, look, it's back. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Well, that's good, I guess. I don't see Joyce, which is okay. Let's sit down and think for a minute. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. Kind of crazy, isn't it? The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Mm-hmm. Now Max Caulfield exists in two, or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? I wonder if Chloe would hate me for keeping her alive. But I couldn't do it. Yeah. Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. I can imagine. Then you've kind of got three different maxes running around maybe more than that Eesh. all right more newspaper stuff to think this all started with my vision of a tornado mm -hmm. i'm not gonna read that one uh we could go out i don't think we could go outside i don't think there's anything different well there might be let's just go look i mean there's dead birds back here again um no, everything looks the same as normal, except there's just dead birds now. We've already sat at this and kind of had a few thoughts, so let's just go back inside. I wanted to at least check and make sure. So I don't think anything's any different, so I'm just going to go straight into the laboratory, the mad room here. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. There might be. But where to look? Email? Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Despite our rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system, I'm still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. We must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. Oh, I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this suspension coming. Best of luck to you, Mrs. Grant. Jeez. At least he has one weird fan. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just want to let you know that I think it's bullcrap what happened to you and the school has too many libtard metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge, and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I am scared of this school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. Uh, I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell students, and without me, it will continue to spread. Madsen. Let's see. Well, it looks like he's lost his job, too. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. 
I believe he is as well. Let's see here. What are some other clues we've got in here? Oh, William's stuff. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. He's armed. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madness, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best Sean Prescott. Well, this is, this rabbit hole just keeps going, doesn't it? I wonder if David is going to the party. Probably not. Well, I don't think he can anymore, because he's kind of... Oh. Locker. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Hmm. Probably a lot. Um. Let's see here. Let's try to uh, open it, I guess. Uh. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Let's see here. He's got to have some tools in here somewhere. Uh, where in the heck? Oh. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Mm -hmm. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion. I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I've never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me, and he didn't finish. Yeah, now I feel a little bad. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. We're probably going to have to be a little careful doing this, but we'll see. Crowbar! Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Probably. What do we got in here? Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. All right, we got some files. Twin Peaks, who the heck is that? He got that on camera, didn't do anything. There's, I bet that's Twin Peaks. And there's a picture of the map. Twin Peaks. I bet that's the code for that. Okay. Well, we have what we need. Score. Back to Chloe now. Um, I wonder if I can rewind and make it look like I didn't do that. Yeah, there we go. We still have a crowbar on us, even though I don't think we actually need that. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and join me next time for more Rudrick Plays Life is Strange. Rudrick out. Max. Aww. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, Aww. listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. Definitely.